not have the right certificates that are needed. So I'm going to attempt to log in. Um, maybe you'll have the same problem. And um, once you try to log in I, right here, sign in with your CAG pin, it seems like it will authenticate because it, it's going to read and then it, it closes out. So basically when you're not authenticating properly, right? Because you don't have the certificates that you need. So you can't really talk to the, the server for authentication purposes. Next step. What you want to do is um, go ahead and unplug a cat card from the computer, right? It's kind of important at this stage. So unplug mine. And if you have any old DOD certificates that were listed in your keychain, I recommend that you go ahead and delete everything that said DOD. Um, if there's others that are from different applications that you use, like I have a couple of Adobe here, then go ahead and leave those. But anything that says DOD, DOD email, DOD um, ID, whatever, remove those. The next step you wanna go to is verify the version of the Mac that you're using. So click on the Mac, go to about this Mac, and right here is seemingly very important. Now, I'm running version 12.6, so it's a newer version of uh, Mac OS. Download Google Chrome for your Mac. It is very important because certain sites don't work well with Safari. And um, the authentication piece works so much better when you use Google Chrome versus Safari. Now, Safari has a, has a, um, a thing where sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. The next thing you want to do is... We're going to go ahead and download the DOD root certificates. So there's a couple of, two, a couple of links that's out there. There's one that you can get from military, military CAC. So demo purposes, I already have the link. So this is where you'll find it. I'm going to go ahead and post that. It's going to ask you, do you want to download? I say allow. And it's going to go ahead and download that for me. Now, there's another website that's found on the Navy side where you can find another set of certificates as well. And this is where you'll go, right? It's actually in the DoD Cyber side. Um, I'm going to post a link here as well so you can download it directly from that link, right? So... Click there, download that as well, and then you're going to be good to go. Now, from here, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and find those certs that were just downloaded, right? So for me, you go to Finder, you want to go to your downloads, and you're going to look for the new downloads that came in, right? So these certs basically all certs came from military CAC and then the second one came from the DOD um, Navy side so if you open it up after it's downloaded right it looks like this and all you have to do is double click it on the Mac there's a built-in um, extractor that will allow you to open up zip files once you are here I want you to go ahead and select all of these right here and that would be a control A on the Mac and go ahead and drag all of these into the keychain okay it's gonna ask you do you want to add them make sure you're selecting the login it's very important and you're gonna click add it's gonna prompt you each way each time and just go ahead and click add and you want to add all of them All right, great. Now, same thing. 
in here I found that there are a couple other certificates that were also helpful so I dragged these over as well and then these bottom two So once you have all of your certs downloaded, if you click on one of the certs real quick, you will notice that it says DOD email certs are not up to compliant and so forth and so forth. Right? And that's fine because now we need to fix them. So these three right here that are not trusted, they have the X. Go ahead and double click and open up the cert. You want to go to the trust and you're going to change it from use system defaults to always trust. Once you close it, it's going to prompt you for your password. So go ahead and enter that. This should be your window, your Mac password, whatever you use to log into your system because you're making changes to actually the system itself. So it's going to prompt you to, to request a password. This will take care of these certs as we go along. So make sure that you have the right ones inside and that they're updated. All right, so once you trust these certs and you go back, you wanna make sure it says this cert certificate is marked as trust for this account, right? So if you notice when you go back after fixing these, it starts to show that this certificate is valid. So now all of your certs are starting to turn green and they're showing up properly, right? Now at this point, um, this is where you wanna go ahead now and insert your CAC card reader and then put your CAC inside. And instead of using Safari, right? I wanna switch over to using Google Chrome and we're gonna go ahead and test to make sure that we can see if we can log into any of our um, the sites that we need to all right so let's go to web apps.mail.mail we're going to log in on here it's going to also prompt me so i'm going to try to log in again right there And I'm gonna go ahead and sign in with the CAC. Okay, so now it's supposed to prompt you with the certificate asking you to log in. Now it asks you to enter your PIN. Good, so once you see this, you know that you're good to go and once you hit yes, your email is going to open up. Now let's go ahead and test this also on Safari. CAC again. Okay, Safari is working too. Punch in my pen. Same thing, it's asking me to open up Outlook. So that means I was authenticated properly and I will be able to click, um, I will be able to access basically the sites that I wasn't able to access before when we tested it out. So this is how basically you need to set up your your certificates to make them work for you. I'm not going to all credits go to militarycac.com. Like I said, this is something that was created a long time ago by Mr. Michael J. Danbury. All credits go to him. 
We're not trying to take away anything. Like I said, if you want to donate to this cause, I really recommend it. Um, he has a ton load of information on here, and he put in a lot of work to actually be able to assist the community with root certificates and cat card issues and all that stuff. All right. Thank you guys for watching this video, and you guys have a great day.